I, I'm thrilled with it. I wish I had done it sooner. I don't know why we waited so long, but both of us are so happy. And the money we're gonna save from buying contacts and glasses, I just, we could buy a car. <laughs> Hi, I'm Daphne Broadway from O'Fallon, Missouri, and I had my refractive lens exchange eye correction surgery in St. Louis at Brenton Vision. I have been in contacts or glasses since I was 14 years old. My vision has just progressively gotten worse. Got to where I couldn't read or see without contacts, glasses, or both. I couldn't watch TV, I couldn't see TV. I had to sit close to the TV. I couldn't drive, I would have to wear contacts to drive and then at night I would have to pull over and take my contacts out, put glasses on, and then if I was trying to read I had to put glasses back on, just reading glasses to read. So it was constantly a headache, a frustration, and a juggle just trying to figure out which, what do I need. My husband Jerry came to Brenton Vision first and I saw the success and the excitement that he had and the success that he had from the surgery and he was thrilled with it so he, was, he wanted me to have it too. I've never been anywhere in any medical facility where I felt so welcome and so at home and like they really cared. They're concerned about you. They, if the first thing they ask you is what can we get you? Do you can I get you a snack? Can I get you a drink? Are you comfortable? Um, the first day I was here, they thought my appointment went a little longer than it should have. I did not. They bought my lunch. I mean, who does that? Dr. Brenton was amazing. He made me so comfortable. Um, he went over all of the options for me and he and I decided what was best for me. Let me tell you a little bit about Dr. Brenton, how he caters to the patient and how he cares about the patient. I'm very claustrophobic and I told him that going in, but I, I don't think I realized how claustrophobic I was and they certainly didn't. So when we got in there, they, they put a, a sheet thing over your face and when they put it on my face, I panicked and they stopped everything and, and Dr. Brennan said We're, we won't go any further until you're comfortable. We will make you as comfortable as we possibly can and when you're comfortable we'll proceed. And so they stopped and, and fixed it. They pulled the sheet and taped it to his microscope and I didn't have any other, I, no problem whatsoever. I was perfectly fine and calm. I can watch TV with my husband and I get up and go straight to bed. I don't have to go take contacts out. And I know a lot of people get excited about not having to put them in in the morning. I didn't mind putting them in in the morning. I hated taking them out at night. I just wanted to get up and go to bed. And now it's like a dream. <laughs> I get up and I go to bed. So that's my favorite part. And then driving. I took a road trip last week and I didn't have to pull off the road and take my contacts out. I got to where every time I would take a road trip by about 8 o'clock, if I was driving at night by 8 p.m., my eyes were so dry that I had to take my contacts out and put glasses on. So I would have to find somewhere to pull over. And I have a special needs child. It, that's not always easy to do. So I almost cried when I realized I didn't have to stop and do that. It was like the best thing ever. Dr. Brenton's staff is top of the line. I don't know where he finds his people. There's nothing like them. I've never been in a medical facility that has the staff like he has that cares about you. Dr. Poor met me up here on a Sunday afternoon because I was having trouble with my eye after surgery and I was worried and she was worried for me and she, she actually told me that day she said we worry about your eyes probably more than you do and she came up on a Sunday left her husband actually came with her and uh, she's pregnant she was pregnant then I think she's probably had her baby now but um, nine months pregnant met me up here to make sure I was okay I would like to thank all the staff here at Dr. Brenton's office I would like to thank Dr. Brenton first and foremost. I would like to thank all of the office staff up front for, I mean, they're the first thing you see. They set the pace, they set the atmosphere, and they make you feel welcome and at home. And Dr. Poor especially for making me, she just kind of took me in. We're buddies now, so I appreciate her so much. Thank you all.